Representative Tom Price, Republican from Georgia, chairman of the Republican Study Committee, also a physician. Uh, he himself meeting with Secretary Sebelius this afternoon. Also with us in Washington, Jonathan Capehart. Uh, Representative Price, your point to, to the secretary this afternoon and, and, and how you intend to make it. Well, actually, we've met with the secretary a couple weeks ago, and the fact of the matter is that the bill that we that was introduced yesterday by the speaker is indeed that government takeover of health care. It's just a thousand extra pages. It doesn't provide more choices to patients, which is something I know about as a physician. It doesn't improve the system. It doesn't increase the quality. It may increase the coverage, but it's coverage that the government wants for you, not that you want for yeah. yourself. So all in all, it's the American people who will be objecting to this bill, not just Republicans. Yeah. I, I, what can the Republicans do better. I, I almost feel like I feel like the Democrats scored one out of two. They expanded coverage, but it's unclear at, at best how they dealt with cost, and they may not have dealt with cost at all. The Republicans have not expanded coverage or dealt with cost. They've just said only expanding coverage doesn't. You're, it's a bit a party of no. So if we accept that we need to expand coverage, or we, and we believe that expanding coverage is in our na national self-interest, and we know we need to to uh, wring massive efficiencies out of a massively inefficient employer-based system that dates back to the 1940s. What can the right. Republicans do better to up the ante uh, against the Democrats who are expanding coverage but may not be dealing with cost? Well, Dylan, the fact of the matter is that Republicans have always said that the status quo is unacceptable. And we've put solutions on the table. H.R. 3400 is a, is a bill that the Republican Study Committee put forward over four months ago that, that would indeed expand coverage, that would solve the problems of portability and pre-existing illnesses and injuries, that would make it so that patients and families and doctors are the ones making medical decisions, not federal bureaucrats or insurance bureaucrats, and would address the issue of lawsuit abuse that the, the, none of the bills on the Democrat yeah. side, including the 2,000 page monstrosity that the speaker introduced yesterday, it doesn't include anything that has a positive effect on the lawsuit abuse. So the way that they pay for their bill is $800 billion in taxes and $500 billion yeah. slash to Medicare. Yeah. That's how they get it to be, quote, budget neutral, but that's not what the American people want. If you were to look at whether, again, Senator Ron Wyden talks all the time, he's got an amendment that does, has very similar, at least intent and characteristics of your proposal. He's a Democrat, you're a Republican, right. you both obviously come from a fairly center-left or center-right perspective when it comes to something like health care anyway. Uh, I've talked to a variety of other politicians on this show and elsewhere who would agree with the, your rhetoric or Senator Wyden's rhetoric or similar rhetoric to it, and yet none of it is reflected in the legislation. And I can't tell whether that's because people just like to agree with me on TV because they're afraid I'm going to start yelling, or if, it's, <laughs> if, there's some, if I'm missing something else, uh, Congressman, help me out. No, I, th I think the fact of the matter is that the, the, the leadership in both the Senate and the House is, is far to the left. And so what they've put forward is a bill that is as far to the left as they can get and try to get the, the majority of their conference, the majority of the Democrat uh, representatives and senators on board. Uh, but you're right, Senator Wyden has some great ideas about how to provide greater choice, especially in the area of Medicaid and, and the S-CHIP program. What we believe strongly is that the American people are the ones that ought to be in charge. American patients ought to be in charge, not government or insurance. They're wonderful, positive ways to do that. I'm, I'm still hopeful that the American people will demand that that happens. Yeah, I, I guess I'm, st I'm still disappointed in the Republican Party for not doing a better job of making that point. In other words, and I'm not, I, I'm not a registered Republican, I'm not a registered Democrat, I am a registered taxpayer. Sure. Uh, and I don't under, I, I, get, I get the issues, but I don't understand, I feel like the, the Democrats have their agenda, which is they would honestly like to see pub, some version of public health or single payer, and they'll compromise from that, which is a, a, an understandable position, although, again, you can debate it. The Republicans ha have done a very good job of resisting the Democrats, but have not done a very good job of advancing health care solutions. Now, I recognize there are disadvantages in being in the minority, but what can the Republicans, sure. what can you do better as a physician in the Republican Party to better amplify your caucus's rhetoric to, to, to help America get better health care. Well, I think now that we're coming down to the finish line of, the, of this debate right now, it's clear that the Democrats, with their 2,000-page-plus bill, uh, are, are interested in having the government run the show. Uh, our, our opportunity, our job now is to make certain that we, we reflect the American people's will, and that is that they believe that patients ought to be in charge. And there are bills that will do that. H.R. 3400 is one of them. The Republican Study Committee has put over 50 bills, 50 health care bills introduced in the House of Representatives. We'll have an alternative as we come forward. 
forward this week and be able to publicize that for the American people. But part of the job is, in fact, the job of, of the fourth estate. Uh, the media needs to assist in making certain that the American people know that there are alternatives out there. We've had them for months and months and months. It's important that the American people be given that opportunity right. to see that. And I would argue anybody in the political theater that spends their time f fighting lefty-righty battles over something that is an outdated system in need of an update, not a lefty-righty issue, yes. does America a disservice as sure as the fourth estate does a disservice if they don't properly describe the issue. So, now you're absolutely right, Dylan. The status quo is unacceptable. The American people know that, but we need to keep what's right with our system, but fix the things that are wrong. Yeah. And there are flawed areas of the system, like the portability and pre-existing, that we all could rally around and fix. And a monopoly, and all. I mean, there's some very obvious, massive issues that can be updated. Uh, Representative, thank you so much. Enjoy Indeed. your weekend. All right. What are you going to be for Halloween? By thank the you, way? Dylan. Take care. You got a Halloween costume? I'm sorry. You got a Halloween costume? No, I no, no I, I think I'll be watching the World Series. All right, I'm, I'm thinking about going as Thomas Jefferson. I might wear it at the end of the there show. You, you stick That's around. I'll, I'll send you. I'll send you a little web picture later. All right, so you can tell me what you think. Great, uh, Jefferson. I, Jefferson wouldn't like this bill. I promise you. <laughs> all right, Representative. Thank you so much.